most of the time it happens that we are unable to find a keys as we are knowingly placed it here and there and what if we are in a great hurry at that time it creates a lot of frustration so what is the solution hello friends why is all such in sony and i came up with one of the solution of this problem the solution is smart key chain now what is it and how to make it let's see a smart key chain is nothing but a wi-fi key chain built using esp8266 12e development board so in case we are unable to find our keys we will simply take out our smartphone give the signal to this key chain and the key chain will automatically ring now let's see how to make it okay so this component will be required to make a smart key chain a general purpose pcb female box strip esp2612e development board buzzer and a battery so first of all, we will make a rough connection of a buzzer and ESP8266. We will connect the negative pin or minus pin of the buzzer to D0 pin and its positive pin to 3v3. Your D0 pin is nothing but the built-in LED pin of ESP8266 12 development board. I will connect the USB and start program. So this is the code of a smart keychain. Basically, I have modified uh, the original code was a Wi-Fi telnet to serial, which is uh, already available in the example of ESP8266 Wi-Fi. So this is this was the original code. I have modified it and uh, modified it to make a smart keychain. So modifications are nothing. Uh, there are only few modifications. Uh, this is the normal thing. You need to enter the SSID and password of your smartphone, through which you will be going to find your keys Wi-Fi server will be connected to the port 23 as the it is using that uh, used for using telnet and uh, first of all it will be connecting to the SSID and password this will be simple and uh, this is the must uh, Wi-Fi will begin SSID and password uh, as after it get connected to that uh, your smartphone it will be giving you the local IP address of uh, through which uh, you can communicate uh, using an app of telnet uh, one more thing i am using the app uh, telnet app to finding the keys but if you know how to make an app you can make a personalized app just for finding your keys so if you don't uh, you can go for the telnet uh, which is available in the play store so it will be giving you local ip address and the port number is obviously 23 for telnet and uh, in the loop there are only two steps i think uh, first of all it will be connecting to the server clients uh, which is our smartphone and the maximum clients uh, limit i have given uh, here it is one so it will be connecting to only one phone and after it gets connected uh, to the client it will be waiting for the data so as soon as we enter the data it will compare the, uh, it will check that data is uh, received and it will automatically toggle the pin the built-in led pin which is nothing but the d0 pin on which we have connected the buzzer so it will be toggling every time it receives the data so we will be pressing any button in our keypad and it will toggle the uh, led and buzzer both at a time so with this we can easily find our keys so let's see uh, this code works or not so let's upload this code to the asp266 uh, module okay so after uploading uh, we'll open the serial monitor so it's showing connecting to uh, SMS okay sometimes it shows the error in the displaying this IP address so we will again reset this module to get the correct IP address so that we can uh, connect it with the telnet so I will just reset this okay so it's resetted and okay this is the local IP address we need to enter it in our uh, telnet app uh, once you enter it gets automatically saved onto this app and the port number will be 23 then we will press a connect button now we will send any character or any word letter uh, to this uh, ESP266 module and uh, okay so as you can see that the LED and buzzer uh, port turned on as we send the data again we are sending the data and the port turns off so it basically toggling so again it is on so 
likewise you can uh, find your keychain if you have lost uh, in the nearby region where ESP8266 can be connected with your hotspot. One most important feature of this ESP8266 uh, development board is that uh, whenever you turn on the hotspot it gets automatically connected to it. Uh, I mean to say is that this module constantly searches search for that uh, SSID constantly search for that network whose SSID and password you have entered into the code. So as soon as we turn on the hotspot it will get automatically connected. Now we will make a PCB so that it can uh, it looks like a keychain. So I will just shoulder this female buck strip. Uh, the distance I kept uh, according to that the distance of between the pins of ESP266. So it gets easily fitted onto this PCB. I have cut that remaining portion. Now I will shoulder a uh, shoulder the buzzer in between this two buck strip. So I have shouldered with D0 pin and the 3v3 pin so it will look something like this after that I will connect a battery uh, behind this PCB to make a sandwich like structure so the connections are done and uh, now we will test this so I will turn on the hotspot as you can see that it's already connected now we will open the telnet app and the IP address already saved, so we'll just click and we'll send the data. Okay, so this is perfectly working. Okay, so this is perfectly working. Now we will attach a keychain ring so as to uh, give it a form of a keychain. Okay, so this was all about today's project smart keychain. Now, obviously, this is bulky, we can reduce its size by using the lithium ion batteries. If we use lithium ion batteries, we can even add another charging module that is TP4056 lithium ion battery charging module so that we need not to change the lithium ion batteries again and again. This will be even more smarter and convenient also uh, to use. So, okay, so here I end with this video and with this project also. For the next project, subscribe to our channel. Till then, stay tuned.